This series is presented by Verizon, who are honored to give more to those who give the most. Well, you young Americans. Dear young American. If I had advice to give to young Americans today, I would say, the future is going to be in your hands. Dear young Americans. Find some way to serve your community and your country. Dear young American. Make sure that you are physically and mentally strong. What I observed among the 18, 19, 20, 22 year old Marines, uh, they fought like, you know, the nickname of devil dogs. They truly were some of the meanest damn kids I've ever seen in my life. And I shouldn't call them kids. They were, they were grown up people, but they were only 18, 19, 20. And I'll never forget just how hard and how tough they were in the heat of battle. I was what you call an upfront commander. I was never one that stayed in the back and said, okay, guys, you got to take that objective, etc." I was always upfront uh, with the assault elements. They never, they never gave up, and I, I've seen it where we, we were out of ammo. I've seen them hit the enemy with their rifle butts and bayonets and so forth, and knives and biting and throwing rocks at each other, and it's amazing. Uh, but uh, as far as uh, combat, uh, my company, uh, 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines, I think we saw some of the most vicious combat that we've ever, ever had. And, uh, experienced. Dear young Americans, uh, what I want you to do, uh, I think you ought to accept the challenge to assist each other and our nation to try to solve some of our problems you're seeing in our, that our nation is suffering in today. Today's young generation, of course, is going to be the future of our nation, and I really want them to, number one, be themselves believe in themselves and uh, believe in a God or some supreme being. And they should always set the examples and uh, take care of each other. Start to communicate and start talking to each other individually and to each other and have some good discussions because you can learn a lot by communicating eyeball to eyeball. As you know, it's kind of divided now at the at the uh, elected officials level and, and all the way down to the cities and the communities. It seemed like there's this uh, uh, not trusting each other or something wrong. We seem to want to yell and throw things and, and we, some people believe you can solve things that way. You really can't. If they just sit down and have an intelligent uh, discussion, that's a lost art right now. And they need to get involved in their community at the lowest level and work themselves up to the highest. The most important thing is that you have to take care of each other, number one, and you have to just believe in yourself. Too many people are, they just don't believe in themselves, they give up too easily, and they should never give up. You know, I didn't, and I, I, and I failed a couple times, and I'm sure that uh, you have too, but the big thing is, is that get up and keep going and, and just never give up, you know, set the example, set your standards high and the, 
you know, and I just want people to be themselves and believe in themselves. I, I think that's the key, two keys that they ought to, they ought to live by. Life is the most precious gift that God's ever given us. You ought to be happy and, and do the best you can. That's all, that's all I'm asking is do the best you can.